The name Ruby was quite integral to the story of day two of the Punchestown Festival and inevitably so it will be again today. Not just because we're all still going to be talking about Ruby Walsh after he announced his retirement following victory on Kenboy in the Punchestown Gold Cup on Wednesday. But because today one of the signature races of this whole festival, the Latouche Cup, takes place at 4.50 and its signature fence is this one, Ruby's Double, a big double bank right in front of the Punchestown grandstands that was named and created by the Moran family who own Papillon in honour of Ruby Walsh's grandfather, Ruby Walsh. Now Ruby avoided riding in the singular Banks races, but one man who absolutely adores them is Ender Bolger, and he'll have the hot favourite for the race again this year in Josie's orders. That comes up at 4.50, but we've got also two grade ones on this eight race Punches Town feast again this afternoon, and both are races in which Ruby Walsh, had he still been riding, would have had a major chance of winning them. Indeed, he would have been on the favourite, Bapaum, in the Labrook-sponsored champion Stayers Hurdle. That's one horse and one race in which Rully Mullins will already have to start rejigging his riding plans. Paul Townend was originally down to ride Bacardi's. Maybe he still will do at this stage. We don't know, but Bapaum and Bacardi's plus Kilolta Vic give Willie Mullins a big chance of winning the champion stairs hurdle, in which Uppity Soir, so impressive for Dan Skelton at entry, leads a British challenge and also includes the race's former winner. You know what I mean, Harry. That's a good grade one, but the best grade one on this card is perhaps as intriguing a two-mile novice chase as we've had all season, perhaps for some time, because the Ryanair Novice Chase brings together four of the Spring Festival's Grade 1 winners. We've got the Racing Post Arco and a Duc de Genièvre. Paul Townend was already down to ride him. He rode him at the Cheltenham Festival. We've got Deffy de Soy from the Philip Hobbs Stable, who won the JLT, ridden by Richard Johnson in the absence of Barry Geraghty. We've got the horse who would have been uh, Ruby Walsh's mount, Shakern Paul Soir. He was a good winner at Nace on his first start for three years and he was picked by Ruby in advance of one of the other greater winners, Voix du Rev, who won the Ryanair Gold Cup at the Fairy House Festival and we've also got Ornua, who won the Maghull Novices Chase at the Grand National Festival. So four grade one winners plus the intriguing addition of Chaka and Paul Soir in that Ryanair Novice Chase. That's probably the standout race today on this eight race Punches Town card that kicks off at 3.40. But Punchestown in so many ways is about the unique wonder that are the Banks races and this is the signature bank on the course. Ruby's double. Yesterday was Ruby's day and you can be sure that today we'll still be saying plenty about the great jockey.